if there's anything that gives me any hope that I will get my son back in a classroom and back to being healthy and back to being happy again, I'll do it. Anna Ferguson is one of several parents in the South Orange Maplewood School District who's filed suit against the district for what the parents call a failure to return students to in-person education. The kids have been home almost exclusively since last March. The night before he was scheduled to go in, he was so excited. We packed his bags. He was ready to go in. They, they called and announced that it was off. He just, he's given up, you know, he basically has just said, I, I don't I don't care anymore. I'm, I'm done caring about it. But of course, I know that he he desperately cares. Ferguson and Kaplan's oldest kids have special needs that they say aren't being met through virtual learning. The complaint against the district details case after case of students like them who are falling behind academically, socially and emotionally. Parents are demanding a return to full in person learning. It's been almost a year where they really had no face to face interaction with their teachers. For example, my daughter, she'll be in seventh grade next year. She had a half a year of fifth grade. And, you know, we got to get these kids up to speed back in the classroom for, you know, their academic reasons, but also for their social and, and mental health. And hybrid's not enough. At this point, it's just not enough. Do you believe that there's one, any precedent for? this to be ruled in your favor and two, um, any hope that it will be? I don't think we've ever seen a situation like this, but in my review of the of the case law so far, um, I can I think it's analogous to some other uh, educational situations uh, that the Supreme Court has decided. And I think we do have an argument to make. Yes, absolutely. The district has made attempts to reopen, even having some students back in the building for a short time. But it's caught in the middle between parents and the union. On February 15th, the night before the latest reopening date, the Soma Education Association announced that its members would not return to the buildings, saying in a statement, while we uniformly express joy at seeing our students in person, we've had to address dozens of instances across buildings of staff and students being placed in unfit rooms and administration failing to remedy these violations. Violations. The district responded that it was disappointed and blindsided by the union's decision to not have teachers report for in-person teaching and that it disagrees with the union's assessment regarding rooms, safety measures and other issues presented. And parents point out that many of those same classrooms are being used by the YMCA for a child care program for the very students who should be learning there. I do believe that the district can make this work and make it work safely. Um, and I just, I need the focus. We, we demand that the focus of all of this be the children, especially the most vulnerable children. Law professor Ron Chen has called the lawsuit an ambitious undertaking, pointing out that the courts themselves are still closed due to COVID. To second guess, I suppose, the school district on uh, when the safe safety and health conditions warrant going back to the live classroom is probably something most judges are going to be reluctant to do. Parents will be protesting again tonight in hopes that the district changes course once again. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas.